Hey guys, I know life is upside down right now and everything is so confusing. There's no church, there's no school, there's no hanging out with your friends at home. But look, we can rest assured that Jesus' love is for us. And that brings me to a scripture that I've been going over, Matthew 11:28. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. This tells me that I can trust Jesus in everything, even in this time that our world is upside down. So this week's lesson is about Jesus puts us first. Ms. Melissa, you want to talk about that? Yes. Um, I would like to review our memory verse as well. Um, hope you've been reviewing, and it goes like this. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble value others more than yourselves. Philippians 2, 3. And um, we're learning about Jesus putting us first. And that's a complete um, display of humility. And so um, we're going to go ahead and line up for class so that we can go do a lesson for that. Ms. Melissa, uh, we don't have class. Oh, that's right. Everything's upside down. I messed that up. <laughs> Let's try that again. We're going to go to the videos. So-and-so show. Here it comes. Hey, John, I've got a question. What is it, Brandon? No, no, I'm asking the question. Fine, say the question. Why do we paint Easter eggs? Because it's easier than wallpapering them. Oh! <laughs> hey, did you hear the one about the lady whose house was infested with Easter eggs? I did, but she's fine now. You don't say. Yeah, she called an exterminator. <laughs> Exterminate! Oh. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. How does the Easter Bunny stay so healthy? I'm guessing a steady diet of fresh greens and vegetables. That and exercise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, speaking of the Easter Bunny, do you know how much he gets for every basket he makes? How much? Two points like everyone else. Oh, ah. oh boy. I think we're going to have to stop doing this pretty soon. Why, cause the yolks are so bad? <laughs> ah. uh, no, I, 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 I'm getting dizzy. I'm, I, we're upside down. Ah. Uh. <sighs> I need air. <sighs> I need air. <sighs> I can't see. <laughs> Gotta wipe off my glasses. <laughs> okay. Ah. Welcome to the So and So Show. Happy Easter! I thought we were gonna say that together. I'm so sorry. I just got excited. I, I understand. Like it is very exciting. Yo. <laughs> Anywho, we're excited because it's time for our annual Easter egg hunt. John and Brandon's annual Easter egg hunt. That's what I said. Every year, we hide one Easter egg somewhere in the world for someone to find. Mm -hmm. Seems impossible, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it is. No one has ever found the egg we've hidden. So this year. We tried to find someone so cunning, mm. so clever, mm. and so gifted at locating hidden objects, there was no chance they would fail. So please welcome someone who finds stuff. Greetings and saturations. I think you mean salutations. No, I wish. I'm sweating like a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. <laughs> It's hotter than the sun out here. Uh, why don't you tell everyone who you are? Oh, uh, my name is Leonard Fortescue, and I am a professional metal detectorist. But presently, I am a professional egg hunter. Oh, did you did you solve our last clue, Leonard? Oh, well, let's see here. <clears throat> <clears throat> We're four-sided and stand very tall. Perched in sand with no water at all. The tallest of us has been called great. Most think there's three, but there's really closer to 80 thereabouts. Kind of loses the rhyme a bit at the end. Poetry is hard. Yeah. What do you think, Leonard? Where are you now? Well, Four-sided, tall buildings in the sand? <laughs> I mean, where else would I be? <laughs> all right. Yes, well done, Leonard. 
did you find our next clue? <laughs> you bet your gumdrops I did. <laughs> Old Camilla here, she found it buried in the sand right over there. Hang on. <clears throat> I share a name with this very day. If you hope to find me, I'm far out of the way. I sit all alone in a watery bed. I have no body, so look for the part of the body that typically sits on top. Why not just say the head? They didn't want to make it too easy. It's the world's biggest head of lettuce. <laughs> or maybe a giant wheel of head cheese. That's delicious. I think it's pretty straightforward. I, oh, and you better hurry. Your time's almost up. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet petunias. I got to get out of here. Uh, once I find my camel. Hey, Billy Bob! Right, this could take a while. I agree completely. Mm -hmm. That's why we're gonna play a little game I call Egg Smash. In front of us is a basket of a dozen beautifully dyed Easter eggs. We will each take turns smashing an egg on our own heads. How is this a game? It's a game of chance, my friend. Nine of these eggs are filled with confetti. The other three are raw. Oh. The first person to crack two raw eggs on their head Loses. You got it? I got it. After you. Thanks so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Ow. Confetti and pain. Woo. Your yeah. turn. Oh, great. What do you got? What do you got? Oh! oh! It's a party! Oh, here's a party! Ah. Good! Oh, hey! Oh. Nice! Wow. <laughs> there we go, red. Ooh. Whoa! What? I'm getting nervous, there's three yolks here. I know. <laughs> three and three and seven, what's it gonna be? Okay. Yeah. Oh! I think that's a strike one. How's that, that feel? That's great. That's all, right, great. all right, here we go, my turn. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> all right, here we go, ready? Here we go. <laughs> I think we have a winner. It's me. Boom! <laughs> I'm getting closer to your egg. I can almost taste it. I can taste it. I figured it out. I'm on Easter Island. <laughs> Look at that big head. Reminds me of my mama. You got there fast. Thank you. I did have a little problem in customs. They apparently don't like you to bring camels onto the island for some reason. Why did you bring... You know what, never mind. Did, did you find the last clue? Does a one-legged dog swim in a circle? <laughs> <clears throat> the last place to go is where you already know. Two sit here on their keister. Hurry up so we can celebrate Resurrection Day together. You've got egg on your face. Huh. <laughs> oh! Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> this is the oldest trick in the treasure hunting book. <laughs> Watch out, egg. I'm coming for you. <laughs> uh, that way. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Happy Easter, guys. Happy, Happy Easter, Easter, Kellen. Today we're talking about the most amazing moment in history. Want to help me out? Yeah. You bet. Then bring on out the sound jars. Whoa! These jars contain sounds that will help tell the story. All you have to do is open the right jar at the right time. You think you can handle that? <laughs> yeah. Does this answer your question? <laughs> no, it does not. We're ready, Kellen. Perfect. Then here it is, the story of Easter. Jesus was the son of God. Jesus first came on the scene as a baby, born in Bethlehem. <laughs> Jesus grew up. He grew wiser and stronger. Now, as a man, he devoted his life to teaching and serving people. They came in droves to hear his words and see his miracles. Ooh. But ah. even though Jesus had done nothing wrong, many of the religious leaders wanted to get rid of him. So they had Jesus arrested.
They tied him up and he was taken to the high priest. Two of Jesus' disciples, Peter and John, followed at a distance, trying not to draw attention to themselves. But someone recognized Peter. You aren't one of Jesus' disciples, are you? Me? No, not me. Then someone else thought they recognized Peter. Aren't you one of Jesus' followers? No, you're mistaken. And then a third person. Haven't you been with Jesus? I'm telling you for the last time, I don't know him. Later, Jesus was taken to the Roman governor, Pilate, who decided, I, I find no basis for any charge against the man. But the religious leaders stirred up the angry crowd. Fearing a riot, Pilate handed Jesus over to the soldiers. They forced Jesus to drag the heavy beams of a wooden cross to the place where he would be crucified, the place called Golgotha, or the skull. There, they nailed Jesus to the cross. They raised the cross up, and Jesus hung there until he died. It is finished. That evening, Jesus' body was taken down from the cross and put into a cave-like tomb. A heavy, large stone was rolled over to block the entrance. It seemed like the end. All hope was lost. But the story wasn't over yet. Early Sunday morning, when it was still dark, a woman named Mary Magdalene came to the tomb. What she saw astonished her. That large, heavy stone that had blocked the tomb's entrance had been rolled away and Jesus' body was nowhere to be found. So Mary ran. She ran to tell Peter and John what she had discovered. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb. Now it was their turn to run. They ran straight to the tomb, and Mary was right. The cloth used to wrap Jesus' body was still there, but Jesus, well, he was gone. They didn't understand what was happening, so they went back to where they were staying and left Mary there alone. She stood there and cried. But she had to see for herself one more time. So she peeked into the tomb and she saw two angels sitting where Jesus' body had been. They said, Why, Why are you crying? crying? They have taken my Lord away. I don't know where they have put him. Mary turned to find a man behind her. She thought it was the gardener. Sir, did you carry him away? Tell me where you put him, then I will go and get him. Mary. When he said her name, Mary recognized the man. It was Jesus. He was alive. Go to those who believe in me. Tell them I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary ran to deliver the news. I have seen the Lord. Jesus, God's son, died on a cross. Not because he had no choice. He chose to sacrifice himself to pay for our sins. He put us first in the most ultimate way. And on the third day, Jesus came back to life, proving that God is more powerful than death itself. And that is the story of Easter. Wow. I never get tired of hearing that story. Thanks, Kellen. And I never get tired of talking about the lengths God will go to to show how much he loves us. Happy Easter, Kellen. Happy Easter to you guys. Happy Easter, Brandon. Happy Easter, John. Yeah. Hey, reveal, reveal the question. question. Hey, what does Easter mean to you? Yeah. What do you love about Easter? How does it make you feel when you think about it? Talk about it together, and we'll see you next time. Wait, 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 wait. What about Leonard? Shouldn't we check in to see if he's found the hidden egg? Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he'll find it. That's uh, what, it's yeah. what he does, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all for the So-and-So Show. Happy, Happy Easter! Easter!
can't pull the wool over this long here, Norwegian bunny's eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna go make me an orange omelet. <laughs> Got my egg. All right, those were some excellent videos. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. They had so many cute egg jokes inside of that um, video, and they um, gave a lot of clues, which also brought me back to our clues that I've been posting on our Facebook page for the photo hunt, which I had so much fun doing. I hope you're enjoying doing those too. Yes. Don't forget those are due. You have to have them all done and posted by Sunday. Um, the end of the day will be fine, um, but we want you to do as many as you can. So even if you have to do them around your house or something like that, if you're you know not allowed to go out, which we're really not supposed to be out and about. So find things that are around um, home or on your property mm -hmm. or in your neighborhood or something like that. So um, that is, um, going to lead me up to the key question that they had inside the video. And their key question this week was, what does Easter mean to you? So, Miss Missy, would you like to share a little bit about what Easter means to you? I would. Easter is one of my favorite holidays. And this reminds me that Jesus is alive and that his resurrection came from him coming off the cross. I know we all love Easter and it brings us to Easter egg hunting and Easter candy in our baskets, but it also reminds us about Jesus' resurrection and that's what we want you to celebrate this week. Um, we miss you guys. We have a lot going on. We're putting together some Easter bags that you can drive by with your family and pick up this week. Um, we just would love to see your faces. So if you drive by, this Thursday night on April the 9th from 6 to 7.30, Miss Melissa and I will be here handing out your Easter bag with Easter craft in it um, that we'll be putting together, and we're, we'll show you an example of what that is. So it, it talks about the tomb of Jesus and how he was resurrected um, out of the tomb. So it's a cute little craft. We'll have some goodies in there for you, for you and your family. So please drive by Thursday night. You don't have to get out of your car. We'll just have them ready and you just drive by and pick them up and we'll wave at you. All right. And we did a craft here together that you can do at home that connects to our lesson. Um, it was Jesus puts us first and you'll see our crosses are extremely different. So it's okay. You don't have an exact way to do it. You just get some, du we have duct tape duct up tape. there somewhere. And then, um, and a marker. You'll need a marker. And on the cross that you make, hers is all neat and perfect. And mine's just kind of jumbled up and that's okay. So, um, and then you put on the cross, you write with the marker, Jesus put us first right. on the cross. And so, um, and I thought about maybe dating mine to save it, to remember um, this special season that we're in yes. and how, um, how different things have been for us um, through this Easter season. We are not having drive-in Easter mm -hmm. service. Right. Um, Pastor Allen has asked us to remind everyone as often and in as many ways as possible. So um, as much as we would love to have that, and we know that a lot of people are excited about that, um, we need to follow the rules and we need to um, be careful and protect ourselves and each other. So we will not have drive-in service, but we will have our Easter video service and live service. And when I say video lessons, I'm talking about the ones that Miss Deidre and Miss Jessica do, but also um, the live um, service church that service. church service will have. Right. And that will happen. So the Bible verse that I've had marked in my Bible for quite some time for you guys that I wanted to make sure to share with you, it comes from 2 Timothy and it goes like this. It's uh, chapter 1 verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Um, and I feel like Timothy is speaking almost directly to us right now that um, anything that is fear is not from the Lord. That he gives us power, he gives us strength, mm -hmm. he gives us love and um, sound mind. Let's talk a little bit about that. Sound mind for us is being smart. Mm -hmm. um, listening to our authorities. Um, unfortunately, sometimes it's not things that we like, but that's what the Lord um, wants us to do and has always wanted us to do. And I think it connects to 
the verse that Miss Missy um, shared about resting in Him, mm -hmm. that we need to get our peace and our rest um, from, from God at this time. So um, with that word, I just want to go ahead and close this out in prayer mm -hmm. and um, know that we love you, we miss you, and um, we hope to see you come, come drive by and get your bags. But let's go ahead and pray. Dear Gracious Father, we, we know that you are with us. We also know that um, sometimes we get anxious or we get fearful, and um, we need to be reminded that you are with us. Your peace gives us the rest that we need. Help us to be um, submissive to the authorities and to listen and um, to uh, flatten the curve to um, make this season go by and be over soon, Lord. Um, we ask for protection over every family that is watching this video, Lord. We ask for your presence in their homes. Um, let us be better and come out of this with a better relationship with you, that yes. we know that you want us with you at all times. Um, be anxious for nothing, and all things honor you, Lord, and that's what we're trying to do. Continue to guide our steps, protect us, and help us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We look forward to seeing you guys soon, hopefully sooner than later, but you guys have a great Easter week.